What's up guys? Today I wanted to go over the Dolly Mini and the Dolly Mega models. Specifically how to run those models on your own computer. If you weren't already aware, those models are based off of Dolly 1 and Dolly 2 by OpenAI. The basic premise behind all the Dolly models is that you can give a sentence describing some picture and this AI model will then draw it. Here we have some examples on the OpenAI website for Dolly 2. So, an astronaut playing basketball with cats in space in a watercolor style. So, this would be an example of a prompt given to Dolly 2, and we can change it to, say, riding a horse in, as a pencil drawing. And while these are pre-rendered, and we can see so many of the possible outputs, uh, the idea is that if we had access to Dolly 2, we could give it any sentence we want. Unfortunately, for now, Dolly 2 is in a very limited access state. You can apply to get access to the beta, uh, as I've done the day it came out, but um, not many people have access to it at this time. Fortunately, work has been ongoing to replicate the Dolly models. Uh, specifically Dolly Mini. Here on the Hugging Face website, we can see that there is a space to run Dolly Mini. However, due to the explosion in popularity recently on social media, it is uh, unfortunately typically down. So if I do, let's say, a cat chasing a mouse. Typically, there we go, yeah. It says, too much traffic, please try again. Um, so typically you could run it here, but there's too much traffic, so you can't now. However, let's not let that stop us. We can go over to GitHub and we can see if we can run the model on our own local computer. This repo contains a lot of information, but I will be going over what I added in this PR recently that allows one to easily run the inference notebook provided in the GitHub. In order to run the inference notebook, you need Docker installed, and I'm going to assume you already have that installed. Also, ideally, you would have NVIDIA Docker and a GPU with roughly 24 gigabytes of VRAM. However, that is not strictly required, at least for the mini as I got it working on CPU as well, it just takes a good bit of time. So to get started, let's go ahead and copy the SSH link. And let's paste it into the terminal. We cloned it and let's go into it. So once we're inside the folder, the first thing that we're going to want to do is navigate to the Docker folder to build the Docker image. So to do that, we'll do CD docker and then we're going to run the build image build docker.sh and I've already ran this but uh, yours will take a bit to run and since I already ran it it pulled from cache and it's going to be called dolly mini latest now that the image is built we can go about running it the script to run it is a folder up so I'll do cd dot dot and it's the run docker image so what we're doing here is we're running it interactively. We're exposing 888, uh, forwarding it to 888 uh, on the external. So inside the container to outside the container. Uh, that is where the Jupyter Notebook will run. And uh, GPUs, uh, this is how we pass in GPUs. So if you don't have GPUs, you're gonna want to get rid of this, this flag right here. Or if you have GPUs that don't have roughly 24 gigabytes of VRAM, you're also going to want to exclude those um, by either removing this or by individually selecting what GPUs you want. Um, and then we're going to pass in the current directory, which is the entire project, into the folder called Workspace, and we're running the image we just built. So me personally, I have three GPUs. I have uh, I have two 3090s, which are actually mining Ethereum right now, and then I have a 3060 for just powering my monitors. Uh, and so I don't want to pass in this GPU here, so I'm going to quickly change the script. I'll show you how to do that to only pass in these two GPUs, and then we'll get started. 
So here I am about to change the run script. So I'm just gonna highlight all and replace it with device 01. So I'm gonna, my both my 3090s are GPU 0 and GPU 1 respectively. And so by changing it from all to this, we will pass in just the two and leave the 1060 out. So now the script's modified and ready to go for me. So now I will go ahead and run that script. So do sh run Docker image. And we are now entered the Docker container that we built. And if we look at the GPUs, we can see that I have both my 3090s inside the container. So let's go ahead now and start the Jupyter Notebook. To do that, we will navigate to it, which is in Tools, Inference. And here we can see the notebook and then a script to run the notebook. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Do run for notebook. And uh, it's going to run on localhost 888. And so to follow that, we already exposed the port, important to remember, but we'll just hit control and click that. And we can see the notebook here now. And now we are inside of the uh, Jupyter Notebook and can now start the process of running it. So now that we're in the Jupyter Notebook, let's go ahead and start running it. So the first thing here is that we're going to install some needed packages. That's done. So here is where we select which model we want. Uh, this is the Mega version, which is like a bigger, better version of the original Mini. And if, uh, if you're having issues with the crashing or you don't have a good enough computer, you can uncomment this line right here and it'll run the, the mini version, the smaller version. So let's go ahead and run this here. So here we're importing jacks and seeing how many devices there are. And there's two, because they're in my GPUs. Uh, and now here we go ahead and uh, load the model that we need, models that we need. And you're gonna need a uh, weights and biases um, API key. So I'm going to uh, go away and get my key. You just click this link and create account if you need one and copy and paste your API key into here, but I'm not gonna show what that is. So I've gone ahead and copy and pasted my API key and I'm gonna hit and enter it. And uh, so now we're downloading the large models. This may take a while because it, as you can see, it's five gigabytes here. So I'll come back when it's done. So now the weights are downloaded and they are loaded. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to replicate the parameters onto each device. So if we look now, we can see that it's on one GPU, but not the other. After we run this block, it'll be on both. So we're gonna run that now. And now it's on both. Now we uh, run a few more code blocks to get ready for um, generating the images. Uh, here we create a key so that each device uh, generates unique images. Uh, you also could set a hard-coded key if you wanted to be able to reproduce the results. And so we'll set that. And uh, here we are getting uh, the text prompts ready. And um, so that's downloading. And now that that's done, we have our prompts here. So I'm going to keep the default ones for this demo, but you could change them if you wanted to. So we're gonna have sunset over a lake in the mountains and the Eiffel Tower landing on the moon. And we are tokenizing those prompts. And then here we are to the last step where we generate the images. So as we can see, we can control the number of predictions per prompt, as well as some other parameters that will influence the outputs from the model. Let's just keep it as the defaults for this. And here we have the generation loop. So this is just going to loop through the prompts and generate n number of images that we specified. So let's go ahead and run this. Now this will take uh, more time at first for the first image and then speed up a bit 
I'm doing it on 23090s, so I have about, you know, can't really get much faster than this. But it's still going to take probably around you know, 12 seconds for the first one, and then probably about 6 seconds after that. So we still haven't got one, so about 20 seconds is what it said. The first one. 13, okay. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll come back once this is done generating. So let's take a look at the generate outputs. They're all done now. So we got that one. That one's really good. So I have Town the Moon, yeah. Good. Okay. I really like this one. That one's really cool. That one's good too. And if we want to open them, like save them, we can right click on them and we say um, open a new tab. I'll open that. And then, so here it is, and we can save it, of course. But uh, yeah, that's how you generate images with uh, Dolly Mini and Mega. I just wanted to do a custom prompt instead of the default ones. So I'll do a unicorn flying over a rainbow. And let's run through this code again and it should start generating it now and I'll come back when the results are done. So here we have the outputs. Um, this one's really good. And you can see that it wasn't just like those were hand-picked uh, prompts. Uh, you can kind of put almost anything into this model and it will draw um, something that looks like what you're saying. Uh, there are limitations of course if it's not in the data set. Um, or it's never seen something before. Um, it may get confused, but I, I, I'm very impressed with these results. One final thing is this guy here, Boris Dema. Sorry if I mispronounced that. He is the maintainer of the repo that we just went over. And my understanding is that uh, you know we had Dolly Mini, now we have Dolly Mega, and he's still training this model. So this was six hours ago. So the loss is going to keep decreasing. The improvements on this model are going to uh, keep getting better and better. And uh, we'll check back in if there's any uh, big improvement. And I'll uh, be sure to make an update if there are any big updates. So at this point, I'm going to end today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. I go over a variety of topics in the tech space, namely AI and crypto. So if that's something you're interested in, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. I also have a Discord server where we discuss a variety of things that I cover in my YouTube videos, typically stuff about GPT-3 and things related to that. Uh, there's a, it's a place to ask questions, just talk about new developments. So if that sounds something that you are interested in, uh, be sure to click the link below and uh, check it out. Thanks again for watching and please have a great day.